Hey everyone! Welcome back to another sore episode from this season's theme of Book Chillers for Books That Provide Food for Thought. If you haven't already, be sure to listen to last week's episode on All the King's Men. Today's sore episode is on The Kite Runner, a powerful bestseller by Khaled Hosini. Please be warned for today's episode and in reading The Kite Runner, as it has some strong adult elements. The protagonist, Amir, lives with his father, Baba, and their two Hazra servants, Hassan and Ali, in Afghanistan, just before it is torn apart by war and devastation. Amir and Hassan are the best of friends and spend most of their time playing and talking with each other. But one day, a bully named Asef and some of his friends come to beat up Amir for hanging out with a Hazra like Hassan. But Hassan protects Amir using a slingshot. Hassan has unwavering loyalty for Amir, and even though Amir constantly betrays him or treats him poorly, Hassan never fails to stand up for him. A few months later, Amir and Hassan compete in the kite cutting tournament where the last kite standing wins. Baba is disappointed in Amir because he likes books and poetry instead of hunting and soccer. So Amir feels the tournament is his chance to make Baba proud of him. When a kite is defeated, kite runners run to grab the defeated kite as a trophy of their victory, and Hassan is the best of the best. Amir and Hassan end up winning first place, and Hassan runs to grab the dastardly blue kite that they barely defeated in the finals. When Hassan doesn't return, Amir goes looking for him and is horrified to see him being raped by Asif in an alleyway. More than anything, he wants to scream, save Hassan! Get help. Just do something, anything. However, the thought of losing the blue kite scares him and he does nothing but run away, pretending he didn't even see anything when Hassan returns. Amir's guilt overpowers him, and he can't handle being near Hassan, so they start to drift apart. It becomes so much that Amir tries to frame Hassan for robbery, and Hassan admits to doing it just so that Amir doesn't get in trouble for lying but this only makes Amir feel even more guilty. Following this whole fiasco, it appears that Hassan has told his father Ali about what happened in the alley and how he saw Amir do nothing. So in sadness and anger, Ali decides that they will move away after decades of having served Amir's family. Where will they go? What will happen to them? Will Amir and Hassan ever see each other again? As the war worsens, will they all be safe? Will Baba ever be proud of Amir? Read to find out and join this emotionally captivating fictional tale. For me, it was difficult to get past some of the extreme adult elements in the book, but once I completed it, I was able to appreciate how spectacular and powerful it truly was. This book is full of emotion, lessons, morals, change, growth, escape, friendship, family, action, adventure, hope, and it's truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to leave a rating and a review, and to spread the word about SOAR to help achieve its goal of promoting reading. I implore you to SOAR.